I know a lot of guys find it extremely difficult to get women. I know that. But guys, it is so easy. It's the, it's the easiest thing ever. And one day, you're going to look back, you're going to be like, yo, why was I tripping? It is so easy to get women. It's not even a big deal at all. You won't be sitting on no dating apps, swiping. You won't be doing stuff like that because you will feel like, yo, you can approach a woman, you can get a woman number without a problem. And it shouldn't be a problem. Guys, when it comes to getting a woman, it's all about a mindset and a behavior thing. If you know how to behave like a man or you know how to behave to stimulate the opposite sex, getting a woman will be extremely easy for you. The way you carry yourself means a lot, man. The way you carry your body, the way you think of yourself means a lot because it can exude confidence. You know, radiation, radiation of confidence will be out there in the world. You see what I'm saying? So you have to learn to control your emotion you have to learn to control your behavior if you learn to control yourself you will find getting a woman extremely easy for you it won't be a problem you won't be sitting on a dating app okay all right so in this video i'm going to share with you seven tips to get women to drool over you but before i get started you know i gotta send my shout out to all my subscribers for subscribing to the channel because i do appreciate the support and if new to the channel please hit the subscribe button to be part of the journey all right guys so i'm going to jump down to number one non-reactive a lot of guys cannot control their emotions so whenever they hear something or something they're not comfortable with or something that poked their self-esteem they quick to react in a negative way they quick to explode because they cannot control their thoughts emotion and behavior so they behave in a negative way to make the person feel uncomfortable you got to understand something about you got to understand something about women. Women always going to test you. They always going to test you because they want to see if you're weak or they want to see if you're mentally strong because women, they naturally look for a leader, someone who can protect them. Regardless what they say, oh, I'm, I don't need a man. I don't need this. I don't need that. They still looking for a man who's mentally strong. You see, so being non-reactive being not triggered by small things will give you a lot of points to a woman a lot okay guys so learn to control your emotion if a woman trying to shit test you she's trying to say little things that will poke your ego or poke your self-esteem yo as long as you can stay cool you don't overreact you handle the shit like a g man she's gonna show you mad respect and i guarantee you she's gonna trip over you for sure okay so i'm gonna jump down to number two not afraid of rejection a lot of guys they're so afraid of rejection man it's insane but to become confident you have to learn to face your fear you have to learn to make mistakes as long as you're able to learn from your mistakes you will become confident guys listen rejection is a part of life everyone been rejected before regardless of who you are you've been rejected before but what you do with the rejection did you learn from it if you learn from it then you will become mentally stronger and guess what when it comes to facing your fear it'll be extremely easy for you but as a man if you stay in your comfort zone you're afraid of rejection because of this you're going to stay up late at night or you're afraid of rejection because it's going to hurt your feeling for a whole month i know it could be painful but at the end of the day the fact that you face it you will get extra points than other guys because trust me man a lot of guys they really really afraid of rejection and they're not going to come out of their comfort zone but if you step out the comfort zone you will see that you'll be 10 steps ahead of them for sure okay guys so if you want women to trip over you you got to learn to face rejection and learn from your mistake and by learning from your mistakes you will become confident okay so we're going to jump down to number three ability to stay calm under pressure guys you're going to reach a point where you have to make decision and it could be noise around you all kinds of things around you but if you can't stay calm if you can't stay cool retrieving information making good conscious decision will be next to impossible think about it when you experience anxiety right your consciousness basically blocked you cannot retrieve information you cannot think properly so which means yo it's a life or death situation you know, if you're not you anymore, you could be making dumb decisions without realizing it. But if you're able to handle pressure very well, you're able to make decisions under pressure, you're able to stay calm, you're able to think sharply. Yo, women get turned on by that shit a lot because, yo, let me tell you, women always going to try to put you under pressure. For instance, let's say she stopped replying to your text. Let's say she stopped re responding to your call. The minute you start panicking, you start over texting, you start over calling, you're calling like a hundred 
time, you basically fail. That means you can handle pressure. She's pressuring you. You know, when you hear people doing the pullback, it's all about pressure they added on you. You know, but if you're like, you're pretty chill, you're pretty calm, you're not texting back and forth, you're not calling back and forth, she's going to be like, whoa, what is he up to? She's going to be curious. She's going to be wondering, like, why this guy not responding or why this guy not even making the effort? What's so special about him? Do you see what I'm saying? So she's going to be wondering and she's going to be curious and she's going to be the one chasing you. But if you feel under her pressure or, or, or under her spells, you start calling, texting, doing the most and shit. Yo, it's basically a turn off and she's long gone. So we're going to jump down to number four. Okay, guys. You don't negotiate with your goals. A lot of guys, the minute they start talking to a woman, they throw all their goals out the window. Their only concentration is that woman. They want to be on the phone. They want to text. They want to go out. They want to chill all the time. Things they should be prioritized, they put them in the back burner, their goals. So, guys, if a woman see that you concentrate on your goals, your goal comes first. You do not negotiate your goals with any pleasure. She's going to give you so much respect, it will be insane. Because you're a disciplined man, bro. Not a lot of guys can say, yo, I'm going to put my goal first before pussy. No way I'm going to put pussy before my goals. Not a lot of guys can do that because the minute a, a guy hear pussy, he's gone. His consciousness, basically gone. His sexual instinct hijack his consciousness. He cannot make a good decision. So not a lot of guys can say, yo, I'm going to take care of my goal first and we'll chill another time or something. Not a lot of, if a woman asks a guy, say, oh, yo, let's chill Saturday. If they have something important to do, they're going to put that important thing in the back burner to chill with that woman. Do you see the danger in that? But if you're able to say like, yo, I have something very important to do. It's going to have to be next Saturday or something. She's going to give you mad respect and it's going to be a turn on. Guys, sometimes you have to find the strength in you to say no. You got to learn to say no if you can't do something. Don't try to find ways oh you know what i'm gonna see what i can do so whatever task you have to do you're gonna rush it to chill with that woman and which is gonna lead to mistakes you see what i'm saying so you want to put your goal first if you put your goal first woman gonna respect you and you're gonna respect yourself for sure okay guys so we're gonna jump down to number five charismatic guys if you relax you have relaxed posture your gestures on point you're smiling and stuff you look comfortable inside of yourself Man, you have great listening skill. You're basically 20 steps ahead of most guys, believe me. When it comes to being charismatic, it's all about feeling good inside of yourself. It's all about um, being confident, okay? If you have the ability to listen, a lot of guys, they want to talk. They want to say so much. Don't say too much. Learn to listen. It's when you practice your listening skills. Women, they always have so much to say. They always want to talk, bro. So let them talk. Let them do the talking for you to understand their point of view. The more you understand a woman's point of view, the more you will be able to see, okay, how to you know, evoke her sexual desire. And it will be very easy for you to be quite honest with you. But if you talk, 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 Yo, what are you learning from her? You're not learning anything about her. You see, how are you going to know your next move? You're not going to know because you doing too much talking rather than listening. When you're taking in information, you have to keep in mind, she's expressing her thoughts, her ideas, her imagination. So you have to take them, analyze them to see what can trigger her sexual desire for you to take her home or for you, whatever you want to do, man. It's going to be up to you, right? So being charismatic is very important. Learn to control your emotion, guys. It's very important. If you're able to control your emotion, you will be able to think a lot better. But if you cannot control your emotion, information going to be blocked out of your mind. You're not going to be able to retrieve anything. You're not going to be able to speak properly. It's going to be extremely difficult for you, right? So you don't you don't want to be there. That's what I'm saying. If you really want to get women, if you want to deal with women in a proper way, yo, you have to learn to control your emotions. So we're going to jump down to number six, gentlemen. Strong belief, confidence. Guys, you have to believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself... Every decision you make going to have a strength behind it, going to have some sort of positivity behind it. But if you don't believe in yourself, you're always doubting yourself, you're always criticizing yourself, you don't think you're worth anything. 
Yo, that negative energy you will radiate out there, no woman going to want to be around that at all. It's going to be next to impossible to get women. So, guys, you have to work on developing healthy habits. Discipline yourself. Yo, I guarantee you, you will see the way women react towards you. It's going to be in a positive way, and you're going to be surprised. Of course, they're difficult. Disciplining yourself is not a walk in the park. It's not easy at all. But as a man, you always got to practice self-discipline. You always got to aim to change your habits to positive habits because positive habits will help you become confident, will will boost your self-esteem, will give you that strong self-belief. All right, guys? So we're going to jump down to the last one, number seven, ambitious. Guys, listen, when you're hungry, when you have that hunter instinct, when you're willing to go get what you want, woman drool over a man like that. 100%, guys. Listen, women don't care about the destination. They care about the journey. They get the thrill from the journey. If you, you know, you have that drive, to go get what you want. I guarantee you, you will see the way women flock towards you because they want to experience the journey with you. Okay, I know you heard where, you know, rich guys, they will have a woman and their woman will cheat on them with a poor guy. I know you heard stories like this before, but the reason it happened is because women do not care about the destination. You know, a rich guy, he already reached the goal. He's already at his destination. So there's no really motive, no drive like that. But you, I'm not saying that you're super broke down to the bottom, but the fact that you have a goal you haven't achieved, giving you that proper drive to go towards the journey, to focus towards that journey. Woman trip over things like that, guys. So get a goal. Think of something that you would like to do and aim to achieve it. It doesn't matter if it takes 100 years, guys. You got to have a goal as a man because a goal will help you become confident. Goal will help, will stop you from acting thirsty. If you concentrate on your goal, your self-belief will be on point. But if you have no goal, you will be stressed out. Anxiety will kick in. Your self-belief will be down to the ground. Your self-esteem will be down to the ground. And the way you're going to carry yourself, it's not going to exude confidence at all. You see what I'm saying? So you got to have a goal. You have to be a purposeful man to become confident, to exude confidence out there in the world. You know? And I guarantee you, you will see the way women literally behave around you. <laughs> You know, you're going to get a lot of opportunities. You're not, you're probably not even going to want them. It depends on you. If you hungry for your goal, woman going to be the last thing on your mind. But unfortunately, you're going to be getting a lot of them. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button for more great content. If you have anything to say, let it out in the comment section. See you next time. Ciao.